Good afternoon, everyone. It's Nate and Belize. Uh, today is March, what is it? March 25th, the afternoon. Uh, and I decided I would take you on a trip in the down, on the downtown of San Pedro. Uh, it's just gonna be a short video, but what I'm gonna do is take you along the beachfront and then I'm gonna bring you back along Front Street just so you can see how things have changed uh, during the pandemic. So uh, I'm uh, leaving off where my last video was, my beach walk south uh, at the Sun Breeze Hotel. And then I'm going to uh, walk north from here, uh, downtown. Then I'm gonna come back uh, on Front Street going in the opposite way, heading south. So there's not a lot of condos or, or places to buy on the beachfront. Most of that's commercial now. There are a few places. Um, but I'll point those out and then I'll just point out any changes that have happened that I'm aware of during the pandemic as well as new uh, eateries and things like that. I uh, hope you enjoy. That alleyway there takes you right to where Tropic is. Uh, it's, a, it's a cut through. Uh, that you can get from this street to Tropic Airlines. As you can see, people get off the plane and they just walk their bags this way. This is the, uh, this is actually a library. Uh, Rotary, we have a project here to paint this building. So, um, I think we're working on that now, trying to get that painted. Tour operators here all along the beach. Wild mangoes right here. Blee's Chocolate Company. This used to be Ruby's Hotel. Uh, I believe it was sold during the pandemic. Um, they had some other plans for it, but uh, there was some there was some uproar with the community as far as wanting to move one of the move one of the water taxis. Um, here's the RC School Wall when you're coming to downtown. This is the road that you'll come through, and then you'll make a left onto Barrier Reef Drive. Uh, we call it Front Street. Gilly's poor house is right here. The old tackle box has been revived. It's right there. Wahoo's Lounge. This is where they have the chicken drop on Thursdays for those of you interested in that. This 
Spindrift Caliente. Good margaritas there. Castells. So this is Central Park here. Uh, this is where a lot of uh, the events for the community, big celebrations occur. Um, they usually set up a stage right over there. This is where they have their Lobster Fest block party all right in here. We've got our newer San Pedro sign that was, uh, they finished that last year. And then there's the water taxi right there. The Blee's Water Express, Blee's Express. For those of you that know, if you if you if you if you're moving here or you live here full time, um, you can actually get a membership card and you get a discount on your trips. So uh, I would encourage you to to apply for one of those. You have to show like a a utility bill, and uh, then you can get that and you get discounts on your trips. It's it's a, it adds up, and then you end up getting a I think you end up getting a free trip too. Daddy Rocks used to be right there. So this whole building here has been sold. That was one of the casualties uh, due to COVID. Um, they've sold that. I've heard that they might build condominiums, but I don't know for sure. And then you've got Rehab and Jaguars next to it under new ownership. It's a great place to sit and drink and, and watch traffic go by because everyone seems to cruise uh, Front Street. And then you go, you've got Jaguars right there, which is currently not allowed to open, but uh, we're hoping that the lift the restrictions on the bars and nightclubs this, uh, this coming April, beginning of April. Not sure, but I've heard rumors. But yeah, this is Front Street. This is Central Park. This is the back of the Roman Catholic Church here. This is Fido's. So, I recently have heard that they are a Billy King from AJ's down south is going to be making this his bar. And uh, Fido's has been around since I first came to Belize in 2002. 
So you can be assured there will be uh, live music and dancing and celebrations here. Uh, it's good to see this place being revived. Uh, there he is right there. Okay, this is the Mayan princess. These are condominiums. These are like studios. They're in about in the 150, 50 something price range. So these are right here on the beach. Lily's treasure chest is a nice place to eat. I've eaten there several times. And then you have the Thirsty Tarpon here, which is uh, one of the newer bars. I think I featured them in one of my uh, newsletters a couple of months ago. So it's another new establishment. I think it, the old bar was called Cholos. This is where the other ferry docks right here. Ocean Ferry. Um, they don't get as much traffic, I don't think, but uh, they leave a little bit different times, so you can always check either one if you need to get to Belize City or Key Cocker. The Sunbreeze Suites here. So I just walked through a little alley and walked over to Front Street. You can see right there. So you can cut through and go to the beach that way. This is the end of Barrier Reef Drive. So the end and the beginning are, are, are the only parts that are two-way. Otherwise, it's one way heading north.
in San Pedro. That's where the Caprice was on the back side. through here uh, on your bike and you can walk through here but I just want to so it's not confusing let you see where it comes out boxing up here. I can't remember what night of the week it is, but they do some, uh, I think it's female training also. Here we are. video just a short one I'll do another one uh, with Boca del Rio which is uh, just the north part of the town and that will be it I uh, hope to see you here soon in Belize once again this is Nate in Belize uh, hope you enjoy the video like and subscribe uh, and you'll know when uh, I put a new video up have a good day